Aloha. Aloha, aloha. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever in the world you are today. My name is Master Paul Fletcher, and I am honored to be a worldwide representative of Dr. and Master Ji Gong Sha. Today is October 10, 2016, and today is a very special day because we will be speaking about the power and the significance of the Kundalini area and its association to the spiritual channels and our human vessel, our human body. How that when we spend time and effort in uh, opening this area properly, how we can assist ourselves in having uh, communication with the soul world. So it's a good day to, uh, to learn more if you already know about this and to do a practice together to help boost this power and to open it in a healthy and balanced way. <clears throat> so I see that we've already got a few people coming in. Welcome Angie, welcome Chrissy Kota, welcome Lindy, uh, Wendy Lynn, and Mel Gittens. Great to see all of you. Welcome Pat, and I see Michelle has joined us as well. Uh, welcome Sarah. Hopefully my coloring and lighting is get a little bit better. I'm repositioning everything a little bit more every day. I know this side's a little bit dark and a little bit light here, but that's because my window's on the right. I'm still waiting for a new lighting to come from Amazon.com. So let's see. Welcome, um, Re Ro Robret McRae. Welcome, Tawana. Uh, uh, hello from New York. Welcome, Stephanie. And Shari Hartree. And welcome again, Elizabeth. So thank you all for joining today. <clears throat> um, as other people are coming in, we're going to go ahead and get connected heart to heart and soul to soul. We'll do uh, uh, the Love, Peace and Harmony chant. For those of you that are still not familiar with Love, Peace and Harmony, it is called a soul song. It is brought to humanity um, just like I do a flow and it comes, the soul world talks through me. It came from the soul world to my teacher, Master Shah, about 15 years ago. And it carries an extraordinary healing abilities and healing blessings. <clears throat> so let us connect. We place our hands in what's called the soul light, soul service hand position, which is the um, like a prayer, but we drop the left hand in front of our heart center. Close your eyes. Let us connect. Dear all layers of the divine, all layers of the Tao, all layers of the Source. Dear all of our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, we love you, we honor you, appreciate you, respect you, and bow down to you. We humbly appreciate your blessings today. We ask that you come to sit in each of our heart centers. Bless us all to open our heart. <clears throat> Please guide my communication Allow me to speak on your behalf the great wisdom that you have regarding the uh, Kundalini area and its associations with opening the spiritual channels. We ask that as we chant love, peace, and harmony today, that you open our hearts and souls to each other and to serve humanity in the highest and best way possible. We invite all souls and all universes to turn on the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony to chant with us that we can serve all souls unconditionally. If you know the song, chant along with me. If you do not know, please <clears throat> just close your eyes and receive. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Oh, I wash in her ling. Oh, I trun ran lay. Wong ling rong. Her mushu shong. Song I ping on her shin. Song I ping on her shin. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. <coughs> so, 
Thank you, everybody who has come, everybody who has joined. Uh, I see uh, Eleanor has joined, and I'll be chatting with you a little bit later, Eleanor. And welcome, Felix. Welcome, Audrey. Welcome, Mary and Linda. Welcome, Patricia. Welcome, Nicole. Welcome, Mike Childers. Great to see you, Mike, all the way from Mexico. Welcome, Johnny. And Margaret Chong has joined us from Honolulu. Welcome, Kristen and Christine Myers. And uh, thank you all for joining. So, today, what is the power and the significance of the Kundalini? How can we use it to assist us to open our spiritual channels more? The last couple of days, uh, last week, I focused on the second soul house and I focused on the, um, the energy center of the heart chakra. We did that two days. So those have a significance in opening up our spiritual channels. As a reminder, the heart center is called the message center. That means we receive the messages of heaven through this center. Where there are blockages there, big and unpleasant things can happen. I offered a blessing Saturday morning to a gentleman who, who had aspects of suicidalness, uh, hated the world, loathed life, didn't like being around people, uh, offered him a message center, soul, mind, body, healing, and transmission system, uh, and I got an email from him this morning, and he is just on cloud nine. He's like, I haven't felt this good in 15 years. That's the power of what we're working with, and that's the power of the healing and transmission systems. So when we clear the blockages in these areas, it has a significant impact on our ability to communicate with heaven. Now, I'm working off of an uh, internet connection right now. I see it that's spotty a little bit, so let me know if it gets too bad. I can try to switch it to uh, 4G, but I'm not convinced it'll be much better. Um, so I apologize if it's not a clean connection. <clears throat> so the Kundalini. Now this goes by many different names. Uh, it's known as the Kundalini, of course. There's also another name, um, the Ming Men area. Another name is the Snow Mountain area. And it's also called Golden Urn in certain uh, belief systems. But they all mean the same thing. <clears throat> they all mean the same thing. So the Golden Urn, the Snow Mountain area, the Kundalini area, where is it located at? If you put your finger in your belly button, draw a line straight back to that dip in your back, go back about two-thirds of the way, and you drop down approximately two and a half inches. This is a very close approximation as to the center of this uh, area, energy center of the body. Now it is a fist sized energy center. Not my fist, your fist. You might be a smaller person, therefore your fist is smaller. And that's about the size of that energy center. It is the center that has a direct correlation and relation to the third eye. It also boosts power to your kidneys and your brain. This center is called the prenatal energy center. Natal means birth. Pre means before. So before birth energy center. What does that mean? That means that this energy center is with you even uh, before you come in. And it's fueled, if you will, by the energy of the ancestors. So we can boost it through physical world practices here, but it also has energy from our ancestors in it. Whereas on, on Friday, we did practices for the second uh, soul house or second chakra, and that is a postnatal energy center. As a postnatal energy center, that means that uh, it did not, we did not come in with any uh, energy from our ancestors, from our uh, creek well. <laughs> Let me see. Okay, so I just switched off my Wi-Fi. Maybe this will be better. I don't know, but it wasn't. It was kind of dragging a bit, so we'll see if it's any better working with the, uh, the cell phone signal alone. <clears throat> so we've, we've discovered where this center is at. Now, what is its relationship and correlation to opening the spiritual channels? I will do more, more deeper teachings on the spiritual channels, but there are four major spiritual channels that we communicate with heaven with. And I'll be teaching more on those in this series as we go through this week and maybe a little bit into next week. So there is the soul language channel, the soul language translation channel, there is the third eye channel, and the direct knowing channel. 
And each one of these is a form through which we can communicate through heaven. Each one of them has a, literally a channel that runs through our body. Two of those are directly connected to the Ming Men point, which has an association to the Kundalini. So I want to give a little more teaching on this. There's the Ming Men area and the Ming Men point. Okay? So the Ming Men area is inclusive of the Kundalini, which I just showed you where that was at. The Ming Men point is directly across from your belly button. Remember how we drew that invisible line from your belly button straight to your back? Well, that little dip in your back right there is a little acupuncture point called the Ming Men point. This Ming Men point is exceptionally important to just about everything in this life. It is one of the most important energy points in the entirety of your body. Not going to go into teachings on that today. But if you drew a line from there, like a little coiled line, downwards towards that uh, spot two and a half inches below then you would get an understanding of the connectivity of the Mingmen area kundalini area and its coiledness back to that point okay <clears throat> when we open and boost power to this area in a healthy and balanced way what it does is it starts to feed and nourish the uh, chi of the body the chi is associated with all parts of our body, but there's also a direct association with our kidneys. And so we want our kidneys to generate qi and jing. And so when we feed and nourish our kidneys, jing, matter, is created. Qi, energy, is created. The jing and the qi are exceedingly important to our, literally, our health, our well-being. The kidneys are the first organ created when the fetus is created in the human body. The kidneys is the very first organ. Okay, That's the relative importance of it to the entirety of the health of your whole body. So when you <clears throat> boost power to the kundalini area, what it does is it feeds and it nourishes the kidneys, which creates jing and qi. This jing and qi go up the spinal column and it starts to feed and nourish the brain and the third eye. The third eye is a spiritual energy center we haven't gone into next. I might cover it tomorrow. I might wait a day. But um, there's a direct correlation between it. Now, uh, there are some on the planet that have had third eye since they've been children, and it's stayed open. There are some that had third eye as a child, and it closed because maybe they, were, they saw some very unpleasant things, or they saw evil or darkness or something like that, and uh, they got scared, and you know it got closed. There are some that saw beautiful things, saw things, told their parents or other people about it, and then they were given information that made it close. And there are some that are just blessed to have, have it open. So the third eye takes energy. It is no different than a flashlight. <clears throat> in order for that movie projector in the brain to work, it requires power. Where do you think the power comes from? It comes from your kundalini area. Okay. So that's a direct association. So if you want to see heaven's pictures, you want to, to, to know what, what heaven is showing, you want to see angels, holy beings, how do you do it? You have A, no attachments. B, you empower your kundalini area properly. Okay? I'm going to do a practice in a little while. So when we work with <coughs> this area, it impacts everything in the lower body. So remember where it's at, directly from the belly button, we go straight back about two-thirds of the way, we drop down about two and a half inches, and it's a fifth size energy center. So for anybody that is working uh, in the light worker side, anybody that's doing intuitional readings, anybody that's doing soul readings, anybody that has third eye already, very, very, very wise to practice 15 minutes every day to boost power to this area. Now, how we do it is we utilize the four powers. <coughs> Excuse me. Clearing some sinus stuff today, so it's coming into my throat. The four powers are uh, brought to humanity through Master Shah, three of which have already been here for many, many years. The fourth power is soul power. And as indicated just a few days ago, I spoke about the soul light era starting April, uh, excuse me, um, uh, August 8, 2003. So all things soul are coming. When you apply soul power to the Kundalini area, then what's happening is you are doing it in a safe and balanced environment. 
You have heard before of how people who have activated their Kundalini inappropriately have had significant things happen for them. Some positive, some not so much. Some people who have, who have opened the Kundalini area too fast, put too much pressure on it without having everything else in their bodies balanced, um, created problems for themselves. It shot up their spine and created a great deal of unpleasantness and an activity in their brain and some of them literally had to go to mental hospitals. This is because they did not have a good teacher like Dr. and Master Shah to teach a healthy and balanced process to do it. So to remind you what the teachings are this week, there are five energy centers, there are seven chakras, there are four channels related to soul communication. The five energy centers is what we're focused on this week. Second energy center, second chakra, lower Dantian, all the same name. Heart center, message center, fourth chakra, all the same. Today, Kundalini, snow mountain area, golden urn, all the same. Also sometimes heard as Ming Min area, okay? And uh, the next one is the Zhu Chao and the third eye. Zhu Chao is right between the eyebrows, right here in the front of the forehead, and it's directly related to our intelligence. And the third eye is in the center of the brain and has association to the pineal gland. <clears throat> so we're going to cover those uh, tomorrow or the next day. So we're working this week on the five major energy centers. When we do the three foundational ones together, that's what brings balance to opening the Kundalini properly. The three foundational ones are heart center, lower Dantian, which is the second chakra, and the Kundalini. And when I say together, I don't mean boost them all at once. I mean boost them individually, but do them as a whole. When you do this as a general practice, um, you have the highest propensity of success. Now, another secret that was revealed through Dr. and Master Shah's teachings uh, is, is in relation to the human being and earth. Yin and yang, okay, yin and yang, male and female. Everyone visualize the yin yang symbol, right? It's round, it has a squirrely line in the middle that separates the equivalent of two fish, two fish that are abutted up against each other. And one has an eye down here, the other has a dot in the eye up here. If it's a white fish, it has a dark eye. If it has a dark fish, it has a white eye. So you all know what I'm talking about, the yin yang symbol. The wisdom came through one day when, when we were at an event with Dr. Master Shah, <clears throat> and heaven said to him, they said, the eye of the fish is a heaven point and an earth point. The heaven point is the message center, the practice we were doing the other day. The earth point is the kundalini center. So the kundalini and the heart chakra are the eyes of the fish. Interesting, huh? Also, if they are out of balance, it can impact your fire and water of the human body. It can impact your sleep. It can impact many things negatively. And that's one reason why it's good to do three foundational energy practices. Okay? So we're very blessed to have this wisdom from Dr. and Master Shah. I give all credit to him. I knew none of this prior to this. So it's a, it's a true blessing to be able to, to share this with you at this time. So let us do the uh, kundalini energy practice together. So there are four powers. There is body power, soul power, mind power, sound power. Most of us know of the body power, sound power, and mind power. Mind power is creative visualization. That's the one sentence secret. So I will tell you to visualize something. Uh, body power is how we place our hands. This is very, very important. I'll give you that body posture in a minute. And then uh, uh, sound power is what you chant is what you become. If you chant divine love, you become divine love. If you chant, um, you know, some song from ACDC, well, then you might become that one of those unpleasant words. So it depends on uh, what you chant. So uh, be wise with what you're chanting. So um, those are three of the four powers. The fourth power is called soul power. <clears throat> In Dr. Master Shah's teaching, everyone and everything has a soul because everything has a spirit of the divine in it. So we connect directly to that soul and we ask that soul to assist us 
to the soul of my kundalini. I love you. That's an example of soul communication with that body part or that energy center organ or system. This is the fourth power. It is the most important power since it has come to humanity and used to help bring healing to people. There have been absolutely remarkable results, literally life-changing remarkable results for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people. So uh, it is an exceedingly important power. So let's do it together. All right. So place one hand on your lower abdomen. It does not matter which one. Place the other hand with the center of the palm, if you can reach, in that dip in your back. Okay, in the dip in your back. So in essence, the hands are just about directly across from each other. Okay, that's going to be your body power. If you cannot reach your hand behind you, then you just place one palm over the other. Your mind is going to be... <coughs> focused on your kundalini point. Uh, where is your kundalini point? How far back? You go from your navel, you go back how far? Straight line back? Two-thirds of the way. How far down do you go? What? Two and a half inches. These are approximations. You go to that area, visualize a fist size, size of your fist, light ball, right in there, golden light ball. Now, in, in uh, the Taoist teachings, this area is called the Snow Mountain Area. So I'm going to walk you through a visualization, which is the mind power using the Snow Mountain as part of this visualization. Okay? And so mind power I've just shared with you. Sound power, I will be changing between a variety of different sounds. You'll just repeat with me or after me, wherever you're at. Now we're going to connect soul to soul, <clears throat> so repeat after me. Dear the soul of my kundalini area, snow mountain area, I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. You have the power to boost your energy, stamina, vitality, and immunity. You have the ability to clear blockages to feed and nourish my kidneys, my brain, and my third eye. Do a good job. Thank you. So when we do soul communication, we're talking directly to this area of the body, the kundalini, but we're, we're because our body soul is in charge of everything below it, that means the heart, the brain, the kundalini point, the heart center, our body soul is the boss. So when we speak to anything inside our body we say do a good job because we're giving it an order we're in charge when we speak to the souls outside of us heaven divine Tao, source buddha kuan yin jesus mother mary we offer great respect so that was connecting to the inner souls now we connect to the outer souls repeat after me dear the soul of heaven divine Tao, and source all layers of all beings of light, including lamas, sifus, gurus, saints, masters, ascendant masters, buddhas, bodhisattvas, uh, angels, healing angels, archangels. I love you, honor you, deeply appreciate you. Can you please bless and boost power to my snow mountain kundalini area? I am most grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So for uh, Bradley and Tamia, uh, you just joined us. <coughs> please, uh, your hands, place one hand over your lower abdomen. The other one goes straight back from your belly button to the dip in your lower back. Place the other hand there. It is okay to rotate your hands if they get tired. Okay? So now you're going to close your eyes and I'm going to lead you on this chant, uh, chanting mantra and uh, I will lead you also on a creative visualization. <clears throat> close your eyes. Bring your back away from the back of the chair if possible. Feet flat on the floor. <clears throat> Let us chant. Visualizing light coming to this area from 360 degrees from the sun, the moon, the stars, the planets, galaxies, everything is gathering its light and sending it to this area. You're literally gathering light and generating a battery cell. Let us begin. Chant with me. Jo, 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 
Jo, Jo, Jo, Jo, Jo, Z H O U, Jo, 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 See the light gathering. Jo, 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 Jo. Jo 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 See the light gather and continue to chant Jo Jo is a mantra that's a sound frequency that boosts power to this area Jo 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 As you're chanting, visualize in this area a snow mountain just like Mount Fuji, right in the center of your Kundalini area. And at the bottom of this snow mountain is a lake, a beautiful serene lake. And as you're chanting, Jo, 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 Jo. As you're chanting, the sunlight gets brighter and brighter. Incredible brightness. Jo, 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 Jo. And it's getting so bright and so hot that the Mount Fuji starts spewing a little bit of lava. Jo 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 Visualize the lava starting to flow down the snow covered mountain. Starting to melt the snow. Water and lava is creating steam. Jo 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 It's so hot. The sun is so bright. The light is coming from every direction. It is so bright. Jo 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 For those that have just joined, place one palm on the belly button, one palm directly across from the belly button on the lower back. Close your eyes and visualize in the lower abdomen <clears throat> a snow mountain covered area that is flowing lava on the snow covered mountain down to the lake. Jo 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 and the lava is causing huge amounts of steam to rise up and the steam is rising up going up to your kidneys, feeding and nourishing your kidneys. See the lava, see the lava hit the lake and the steam roiling up, feeding and nourishing your kidneys. Jo 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 See the kidneys so full with steam, so happy and healthy that it's rising up along your spinal column now. This steam coming from the snow mountain area where it's so hot is rising up. Keep your mind in your snow mountain kundalini area. Jo 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 light 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 see the light 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 see the steam rising up as you're chanting light 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 it's feeding and nourishing the entire spinal cord the entire spinal column Light, 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 divine light, divine light, divine light, divine light is radiating into your snow mountain kundalini area. 
You can barely see the lake and the mountain. The steam is rising. It's going into your brain and it's feeding and nourishing the trillions of cells inside your brain. Light, 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 light. Your focus is on your Kundalini area, but you witness the steam accessing other parts of your body. Light, 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 See the steam rising up. Your brain is full. Your third eye is receiving huge nourishment right now. Zzz, the third eye is waking up because you're focused on the Kundalini. Jo 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 light 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 jo 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 light 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 jo 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 light 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 see the light coming into your kundalini area let us call Shah's golden healing ball to come to the kundalini area. Repeat after me. Dear Shah's golden healing ball, I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. Can you please come from heaven? Subdivide and come to my kundalini point. Bless me to strengthen my kundalini. Bless me to enlighten my kundalini. Bless me to boost power, energy, stamina, and vitality to this energy center. Thank you. <clears throat> light, 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 light. See the golden herb spinning now. Light, 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 light. Jo, 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 jo. The steam is still rising. Jo, 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 jo. Notice your kidneys are bright. They are so happy. Your spinal column is so happy. Your brain, your third eye are so happy. Jo 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 jo. Keep your focus on your kundalini. Jo 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 jo. Light 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 light. Jo 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 jo. Light 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 light. Jo 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 jo. Light 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 light. Jo 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 jo. Silently continue to chant. See the golden orb, Shah's golden healing ball, spinning in your energy center, clearing lifetimes of blockages, lifetimes of wrong choices, lifetimes of sickness in the lower abdomen are being cleared as the golden ball is spinning, as the steam is rising. Continue to chant, Jo 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 silently, Jo 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 Light 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 Jo 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 Light 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 Jo 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 Light 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 Jo 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 Divine Light Divine Light Divine Light Divine Light Divine Light Silently chant Divine Light See Divine's light coming from 360 degrees. The stars are shining their light on your Kundalini area. The sun and the moon are shining their light on the Kundalini area. Mother Earth is shining her greatest love and light through the soles of your feet, up through your legs into your Kundalini area. Divine light, divine light, divine light. Divine light, divine light, divine light. Divine light, 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 divine light. Joe, slowly, Joe, 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 
जो 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 Repeat after me, dear heaven, I love you. Could you please bless me to boost power to my kundalini, and as appropriate, open my spiritual third eye, or open it more? I am very, very grateful. Thank you. Jo 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 jo. Keep your focus on your kundalini point. Jo 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 jo. Jo 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 jo. See the steam rising, filling the kidneys, filling the spine, filling the brain, filling the third eye. Keep your mind on your Kundalini point. Jo 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 jo. Light, 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 light. Light, 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 divine 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 light. And now, visualize that the golden ball that is in your kundalini point splits into two, and it goes to your heart center. In the center of your chest, see the golden light ball in your heart center. Tap with your finger, pointed to your heart center, right on your chest plate. Tap right there. Tap right there. Ah yeah. 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 Yo doubt. Ah, yeah, yo, doubt. Keep tapping. Keep the other hand over your kundalini point. See both golden balls spinning. One in your kundalini point. One in your message center, heart center. Ah, yeah, yo, doubt. 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 Ah, yeah, ah, yeah, ah, yeah, yo. Ah ya, ah ya yo, ah ya, ah ya, ah ya yo, ah ya, ah ya, ah ya, ah ya yo, ah ya, ah ya, ah ya yo, ah ya, ah ya yo, ah ya, ah ya, ah ya yo, ah ya, ah ya. <clears throat> Now just place your hand gently over your heart center. Visualize the golden ball spinning in your heart center. See it also spinning in your Kundalini point. See them both spinning equally. Your focus now is on your heart center, but your awareness is that the Kundalini one is also spinning. Your focus is on your heart center. Continue to chant. Aya, aya, aya yo, aya, aya yo, aya, aya, aya yo, aya, 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 aya yo, aya, aya, aya yo, aya, aya yo, aya, aya. Aya yo, aya, 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 aya yo. Now move your hand that's on your heart center down to just below your belly button. Rest your thumb on top of your belly button. Relax your shoulders. Keep one hand on the dip in your back. Keep one hand just below your belly button. Both of them relax. Repeat after me, dear Shah's golden healing ball. I love you. Can you please subdivide and make a third ball in my second energy center, my second chakra, and see a golden light ball come 
to your second chakra directly behind the palm of your hand. It is approximately an inch and a half below your belly button and a couple of inches inside, two and a half inches inside. See the golden light ball in your lower abdomen and chant. Jo 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 light 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 you're visualizing light coming into your second energy center your second chakra light 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 see the golden ball Shah's golden healing ball spinning and spinning clearing blockages light 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 jo 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 light 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 Jo 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 light 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 jo 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 light 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 jo jo light 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 silently chant seeing clearly the three golden balls one in your second chakra one in your fourth chakra and the other in your kundalini point see each of them spinning blessing each other balancing each other sending love to each other clearing the blockages in the entire lower abdomen the light between the three of them is so bright that all the abdominal blockages blockages in the liver blockages in the kidneys blockages in the intestines they cannot stay the light is too much for them light 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 jo 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 light 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 keep your eyes closed you can stop chanting pay attention to how your body feels did you feel steam running up your spine? Is there sweat dripping down your spine? Is the top of your head buzzing? Do you have lightness in your head or a slight headache? Do you feel warmth in your feet, opening in your heart? Did you receive any messages? Or did by chance your third eye show you any images? These are all ways in which we are getting physical world validation as to the benefits so please share what was your experience these treasures that we've invited Shah's golden healing ball is still assisting us it's still working we haven't asked it to stop <clears throat> we might have our eyes open now, but they're still working in there. Now, these are the three foundational energy centers. There are five major centers. These are the three foundational ones. Heart center, lower Dan Tian, which is second chakra, and the snow mountain area. So each one of these centers, if we give it focus every day, what are we doing? Why is it called a foundational energy center <clears throat> because the significance of each of these is directly related to our health our immunity our energy our ability to keep our body our heart and our brain strengthened okay we need our heart you know this, that's what they put when people die heart failure because that's the last thing that goes the heart is extremely important the heart center is not the heart but the more focus we put on the heart center, the more healing to the physical heart, the lungs, and all the associated organs. The more focus we use in opening the heart center, the clearer the messages from heaven. The kundalini point directly related to the kidneys, the spine, the spinal cord, the brain, the third eye. Um, the kidneys 
create the jing and the qi for our health and well-being, the energy and the matter. And so it's exceedingly important to keep them uh, uh, blessed and, and, and empowered. And uh, it's exceedingly important to opening up our spiritual channels as I go into the teachings on a different day on the four major spiritual channels. <clears throat> you'll see that the kundalini point is directly related to them. You'll see that the heart center is directly related to them. The, the second energy center, lower Dan Tian, is, is a foundational center. It is like the seat where we place our feet. Have you ever seen the urns, you know, the big black pots, like in the movies or in the, in the uh, uh, cartoons, where they have the three feet or maybe the four feet? You want to have that kind of steady, uh, and the only way to get there is by boosting power to the lower Dan Tian, second energy center. So let me... Um, read some of the comments here <clears throat> and uh, I want to acknowledge and welcome um, Kristen Carey has joined us, Jessica Smiley, Carol uh, and Brandy has joined us and Donta, great to see you again Donta, great to see you as well Pamela and um, Felix has made some comments and Judas, good to see you as well Judas and the mountain got bigger to the size of the body, he's talking about the snow mountain and erupted in her stomach when it reached his heart, the lava uh, fell to his legs. Wonderful. Great visualizing. Great seeing. Elizabeth said her third eye area feels wide open with a buzzing feeling. Very powerful. Direct connection. So the third eye, which is inside the, the, the center of the, the brain area, it will open naturally when it's supposed to, if it's supposed to, because it's not up to us. It's up to heaven. The more attachment we have to an opening, the less it will open. Release your attachment. Johnny, feeling of warmth left with a headache. Okay, that's a possibility for some of you that the head, okay, how do we resolve that? We bring our, our, our palms and our thoughts, our breath down to our lower abdomen <clears throat> and we would chant the words E, Joe. E is one, Joe is nine. One is the head area. Joe, the number nine, is the lower abdomen. E Joe is like a body order. Bring the light from the top down. E Joe, E Joe, E Joe. So our both our palms are in the lower abdomen. You can do a different body power, which could help. Which is put if you have a headache, you put one hand. Um, you would point to the headache area or your palm. Okay, about four inches above your head. The other palm, like this is in front of your lower abdomen about a foot or more away. Not, not a stiff arm, a bent arm, gentle bent arm. So like this. And so one hand over the headache area, the other hand about a foot and a half out, uh, you know, 14 to 17 inches. Again, do not uh, make your arms stiff or straight. Leave a gentle bend in it. And close your eyes and chant E Joe, E Joe. Visualize like light going from the top down to your body, kind of like a teardrop, pointed at the top and heavy at the bottom. E Joe, E Joe, E Joe, E Joe, E Joe. What that's doing is your body power is telling a uh, high density area to go to low density. You're giving your, your body uh, specific, the four powers together to move the excess energy down. So that's how, if you have a headache, any, under any conditions, you can do that. Um, if, you, if it's right here, you can actually just point towards it, four to seven inches away. The other hand in front of your lower abdomen, the palm is cupped, cupped facing your lower abdomen. Okay, um, So that's the, the body power position. So Eleanor uh, has said, felt like the kundalini energy stopped at the mid-back and then opened, felt tingling in the neck and then lightness and opening up. Powerful sharing. Great observation, Eleanor. That's a very classic example of how the energy channels should open naturally and properly. It does help to do this with um, a divine channel. Any one of Master Shah's divine channels, you can follow any one of them. Um, because we've been blessed to receive um, significant abilities to serve you. And so when you do it in a group like this, and especially if you join it with the Divine Channel, then you'll have a far uh, better results. Um, so Monica's wow, wow, wow. Greatest gratitude, Master Paul. Each center feels vibrating, such as cellular vibration. Her heart is beating faster, feeling abundant light 
is very welcome. Linda, headache, buzzing in her head, heart open, full of love. Thank you. So again, anyone with a headache, near hand, four to seven inches away, far hand, palm facing the lower abdomen, close your eyes, say the words E, which is Y-I, Joe, which you can spell like the, like the man's name, Joe, if you want. E, Joe, E, Joe. Visualizing the light going down, okay? Um, Kathy Campbell, welcome Kathy. Michelle says, tingling up the spine, generally feeling lighter, flashes of bright light when eyes were closed. Great, yeah, I got a lot of that when I was doing this practice too. Uh, trying to keep the eyes on the kids, so this, <laughs> this was fun. Urge to hula hoop pelvis, uh, more spine tingling flash of very dark. Um, with white flashes around it, feeling good, sore head where spine meets the head, mouth dry. Can I transmit these golden light balls which are still spinning to your husband? The answer is, is this is Shaw's golden healing ball. Um, Master Shaw was, was given the gift in his name. It's God's healing ball. And he said, I want to give this to honor you and your service. Master Shah said, I really don't want a healing ball in my name, God. You know, I don't have ego. I don't really want that. God said, that's too bad. We're going to call it, you know, Shah's Golden Healing Ball. It's always in heaven. Anybody can call it. It can come to serve. So you can teach your children how to call Shah's Golden Healing Ball. You can ask it to go to your husband to clear whatever blockages might be there as appropriate. And it will always serve. And you can use it yourself to validate its efficacy. Got pain? Got a headache? Dear Shah's Golden Healing Ball, please come. Please bless me to clear the blockages of my sore shoulder, my neck, whatever. You'll definitely uh, get some validation as to its effectiveness. Okay. And Kristen Strachan, uh, she earlier wrote that it was hot. She said her third eye showed her a crystal light in her head. Brilliant. Uh, Carol Whitney, crown buzz, electric with fluttering on the third eye. Great sharing. And Taiwan says, thank you. Uh, Chelsea, back felt tight until the steam began running up the spine. Still mild tension, lower spine, however, feeling much peace now after the practice. Wonderful sharing. And then welcome uh, Louise Marie. <clears throat> so this is great sharing. This is all very common responses, which is great. Because when, when I'm doing this in the class with other people, and we, we do the practice 10, 15, 20 minutes, we ask around, these are things that I've heard before, and yet nobody knows each other. You're all sitting in your own home or wherever you're at, uh, privately doing some practice, and you're having the same response as if we were in a group in a class. So that goes to show you the power of these practices. The key is incorporating the snow, uh, the uh, the soul into the practice. So remember to to do the four powers, and the body power is important, the mind power is important creative visualization, the mantras we used are important, but most important is the soul power. When we called heaven, when we spoke to the soul of the Kundalini area, when we uh, asked Shah's Golden Healing Ball, now we're using heaven's power to bring healing to us, to transform the blockages. That's the significant difference, guys, because these practices are not new, 5,000 years old. They've been around a long, 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 long time. It's the soul power that makes such a significant difference. So Tawana asks if we're doing this practice again. The answer is uh, yes, I'll be doing it again when I do more teachings than Third Eye, uh, and which I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll do that tomorrow. Um, so the answer is yes. <coughs> um, but if you, if you uh, watch the recording, you'll see everything again and you can do it again and again as many times as you would like. Okay, so I want to talk a little bit about how you can facilitate a faster uh, transformation of these areas. There is <clears throat> two ways to accomplish it using what's called divine services. This is again only for those that are of interest, those who would like to um, open their spiritual channels faster. And so what that would include is what's called either a crown chakra blessing, which is, it can be done in person or remotely. And it's a two minute blessing in which I place my palm over your crown. Heaven comes in, clears the blockages for the third eye, for the Kundalini, for the snow mountain area, whatever it might be. This is an exceptional 
uh, uh, way to clear the blockages, and it's reasonable and affordable. Um, the soul, mind, body, healing, and transmission system is the highest, the most powerful way to do it. Now, I received these blessings I'm telling you about. Um, when I honored for them, I honored a lot more than they are now. And the blessings now are a lot more than they are when I honored for them. Uh, when I honored for them, I received one at a time. One for the heart center, one for the kundalini, one for the don, lower dantian, uh, one for the third eye. You, you pay for them individually. And, uh, but it helped me dramatically to open my spiritual channels. It helped me dramatically to clear the blockages that I would have to do this Joe, 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 Joe. I'd have to do 200 hours um, to do what could be done in you know, two minutes. So uh, I was happy to pay you know, the few hundred dollars for it because um, it helped tremendously. So the healing and transmission system is uh, a brand new Kundalini, a brand new message center, a brand new uh, 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 third eye in which everything about that, that previous center and any of the karma that it's gathered has the highest propensity to leave when the new comes in. And then a light wall protection is offered. The healing and transmission system is extraordinary in that it can facilitate what would normally take you have to go sit in, with gurus in a mountain for many, 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 many years to accomplish what can be done in minutes. That's the significance of the healing and transmission system. They're listed on my website, which the Universal Servant Kristen has just posted at asohealer.com. And you just go to the services area and it's listed there. The... Um, the packages that they're doing now is the Kundalini and the Snow Mountain are together. Okay, I paid for them separately when I did it, three hundred dollars each. I paid six hundred, but now they package them together at three hundred for both of them. So I, that's just you know beyond extraordinary. And then one can get the Heart Center, the Lower Don Tian, and the Zhu Chao, which is this uh, in, the Intelligence Center here. Those three are another package. Those are also 300. Those would normally be 900, which is what, again, I honored for them when I got it. And the power that's given now is substantially higher than what I received. And so these can be, be uh, received through me if it's something that you want to do. You go to my website, you call me, email me, Facebook me, whatever. We'll talk about it. I'll explain it more clearly before I run out of time here on Facebook. And these will be available. I'm going to keep them available for a, a couple of weeks as I go through the additional teachings because each of these will assist you with opening your spiritual channels more. Um, the ideal scenario would be to do all five of the major energy centers because each of them are related to our health, our well-being, our immunity, stamina, vitality. They're related to our brain health, our, our, our energy center health, third eye. Um, the Kundalini is a huge one. And so... Uh, to repeat one more time, Kundalini and Third Eye, one package, uh, Heart Center, Lower Don Tian, and uh, Zhu Chao, the Intelligence Center, is a different package. The information can be found on my website. Um, I'm greatly honored for this opportunity today to do this teaching on this uh, energy center, very important energy center. Tomorrow, make sure you come back, we'll be doing teachings on the Third Eye, blessings for the Third Eye, opportunities for opening your Third Eye. Uh, and please share if you're new to this hit the in the upper right corner should say something like the word follow that means you'll be notified when I go live instead of coming in late and uh, I love you love you love you thank you thank you thank you we'll see you tomorrow bye bye everyone